important to engage because we need to listen. So we listen to learn. We listen to hear all of the different experiences. We listen to understand perspectives. Um, and we know as a board, as um, senior admin in Parkland School Division, that a lived experience that I have is not the lived experience that you have or any of anyone else has. No one has that other than me. And so if I don't share that and if I don't listen to your lived experiences, then I, you know, I just don't have a, I don't have the fullest sense of how we can do what we do, how we can do better about what we do related to education. School culture might be an interesting one to touch on. I know it's kind of global, but um, we've hit on it a little bit within like how that affects students and um, expectations. But on a kind of global level, um, what do you guys think is working well um, in our schools culture wise? Or not working well? It's a very diverse division, so sometimes it's interesting to talk about culture because we have like big schools with huge student populations and then we have smaller schools and that's um, identified in this group even tonight, right? We're going from like early years to Tomahawk, a smaller school, a middle year school and high school representation with three parents, which is pretty interesting um, and reflective of our division. I'd really like to see all the schools take on, uh, you know, a, a tangible plan to, to to run at some of that stuff where the where the culture may be broken or where these kids are falling into uh, less than desirable behaviors. Um, we spend a lot of the time, you know, again across the two schools that I deal with, um, coddling these kids, right? Our school, like, it's the same because it's a bit smaller and there's such a, a huge parent involvement that um, we are fairly community oriented. I feel like a lot, a lot of parents come in, like an electrician or um, someone's RCMP parent would come in and talk to the class. Like, that's quite common at our school. I, so I feel like it has a good sense of community. We just want our kids to be so successful and when we recognize that the parents are struggling, that's when we're like, oh my goodness, what are we going to do to support these kids and to support the families? Because we find in our roles, um, every day we are speaking with parents and providing them with support and counseling and helping them to work through their, their challenges as well. I know in our house, um... My son is now at the age where he gets a percentage or a more of a final grade and he loves it because it's a little bit of a competitive streak in him. So he sees that and he's like, oh, I can definitely do a little bit better next time. So I love the report card, but that's that's me. But we're a little bit more competitive at our household. One of the groups I was in was talking about how they really appreciated um, parent-teacher interviews uh, in that they didn't have to find parking and line up and chase, you know, where, where their kids were at and whatever else. And they, they had the best parent-teacher interview experience that they've had um, this way. So it was good. More people were heard tonight because sometimes when you sit around in the group in, in person and if there's someone who dominates, but when you're sitting on screen, that doesn't, that didn't seem to, in the groups I sat in on tonight anyway, that didn't seem to happen. After tonight's conversation ends, the real work starts for our administration team in terms of theming all of the information we heard tonight, putting it together in a format so that trustees can see clearly what was said and what some of the priorities are for stakeholders. That information feeds into our education plan and also feeds into our annual education results report, both of which you'll see in uh, future postings on our website. You will see, and this is the great thing about our personal stakeholder engagement opportunities, is you will see quotes from tonight's engagement in both our education plan and our annual uh, results report. And that shows, uh, that provides that insurance to our stakeholders that yes, we did hear you, yes, we did listen, and yes, we are going to pay attention to how, what that makes uh, education look like in the future. Parkland School Division, where the world opens up.